guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's look, we're going to be create well, trying to create a peacock makeup look. So, if you're interested in seeing the way it turns out, then please keep on watching. Right, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go and do the outline in first, and then I'm going to use the face paints then to fill in all the entire look. So, I'm going to be using my Go Now Outbuild palette by Beauty Bay again. So, I'm just going to be using the electric shade, which is the shimmer blue in the palette. I'm going to be using that colour to map out the edges around doing the peacock's body. So as you kind of guessed, I'm going to be using my Bedellium tool brush as well. It's a um, 760 liner brush. So my mirror is down here, so I'm going to be obviously looking in the mirror as well as trying to look in the camera so you can understand what I'm doing. So I am sorry if obviously I'm looking down constantly, it's just because I got my mirror by the basically. doesn't seem to be working. No matter how many times that I'm trying to do it, it uh, just doesn't seem to be working. But we'll keep going. So I'm going back into that blue and I'm going to be doing the head of the more like a duck than a bloody peacock. Yeah, it looks more like a duck. <laughs> Trust me, to one. Attempt to do a peacock and it ends up looking like a bloody duck. Still looks like a duck. <laughs> well, as far as I can see, anyway. Right, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be just filling in the body with the blue, the white for the highlighting of the actual um, peacock around the eyes and, and the mouth. And I also need to mix three colours to obviously make brown for the, the eyeball, but yeah, you'll understand what I mean when I actually um, fill it in, I'm going to obviously be taking my Snazzaro paints.
now I'm gonna be taking my now we've also finished the white and also the blue I'm gonna be using the black and the blue together to fill in that part of the that hasn't been filled in So I'm going to be highlighting the inner part of the eye with obviously the white and I'm going to be using the, these are a pack of five that I've obviously previously mentioned in my videos before. I bought them from eBay and the nail art, excuse the blue, <laughs> the nail art um, tools but I use them for like the like dots and stuff. And they're so precise and they, they're honestly brilliant. They, they've cha they've changed my makeup game massively when I want to do like dots on, with certain looks and stuff. So if you're really wanting that precise dots on whatever makeup look you do, these are, these are awesome. I highly recommend them. So just to let you know that uh, when I did all of the makeup look, it didn't turn out the, exactly the way I planned it to, but also I had to improvise and it didn't it didn't turn out 100% like the actual photo, but obviously that'll be a learning curve for me for next time when I do, do these type of looks again or if I do any other look that I come up with so I'm gonna have to obviously I'm gonna have to pay more attention towards every detail and just make it look 100% better and mostly like the actual image this makeup look proved harder than I thought it was actually gonna turn out to be so I'm just mapping out the I want to obviously place the beginning of the tail ready to map out where I want the actual feathers to go to but obviously like I said it's not exactly like the photo because like it, it did honestly prove a lot harder than what I thought it was going to turn out to be so I just basically did my best and what I could My favourite part about the whole entire look was actually creating the details within the makeup looks that I do because once you add the detail that's when everything starts to come alive and I honestly love, just love doing the detailing when I actually create my makeup looks.
So this is how the maker block turned out. I realised once I finished it all that it wasn't up to the standards that I wanted it to be. So because the feathers in the background of the peacock wasn't very in your face, I did go off camera and I did use my uh, lime green pigment. I'll mention it down below what I actually used. But I did also go in with a couple of other products just to make it look um, more vibrant and more lifelike. So you will see in the next couple of seconds now how it turned out. So this is the overall finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I hope you guys like this look just as much as I do. And I hope you subscribe and become part of my journey. Thank you to everyone who is continuing to support me. Hope you guys enjoyed and I shall see you in my next video. Thank you guys. I love you guys. Bye guys. So before I forget, I know this is the end of the video. But I just wanted to shout out two people that are honestly so incredible. The first one is David Middleton. His username is just Dave. He does top five lists about all things from gaming to movies and comics. Please, please, please go and check his channel out because he's honestly amazing and his channel is too. Also, the second one is my Sarai. She does similar makeup looks to what I do and she really is amazing so please go and check her channel out as well and i've got the links down below in the comment section so please go and check both the channels out